In a subway station at rush hour, a young man walked into the station carrying a violin case. He was dressed in jeans and a baseball cap, opened up the case, took out his violin, and he tossed a couple of bucks in the case to kind of hint to people that maybe they were supposed to tip him as they went by. And he began to play. And he played amazingly. He played one of Mozart's most complex pieces, and he played it flawlessly. And all the while, people walked by. They simply walked by. He kept playing. Every now and then, somebody might toss a buck in as they rushed on their way. But they were so focused on their lives and where they needed to be, they didn't stop. Every now and then, a child might stop and listen, amazed at the music that was coming from the violin until the mother or father said, come on, sweetie, we've got to go. When he finished playing, the musician took the money out of the case, put the violin back in. He had earned $42 for his performance. $42. If anybody who had been walking by had stopped and decided they wanted to hear more, they would have paid more than three times that to buy a ticket to hear Joshua Bell. Joshua is one of the most famous violinists in the world. The instrument that he was playing on probably sells for a thousand times what he earned that day. When I watched the video of Joshua playing in that subway station, I was sad. Not just because of the music that these people had missed, but because that's how we live our lives. Now, I know I talk a lot about focusing on your business and keeping your attention focused, but sometimes you just got to stop and listen to the music.